Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. A park contains a water fountain that sprays water in the path of a parabola. The highest point of the stream of water is one unit from the water fountain and it's three units from the ground to the highest point. The stream of water also reaches an endpoint three units horizontally from the water fountain, which is two units horizontally from the highest point. The question is how tall is the water fountain? A version of this question was asked to 14-year-old students in China. I thank Hao Yu for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To get started, let's complete the path of the entire parabola by imagining the stream of water continuing to the left side of the water fountain. Since a parabola is symmetric, the distance from the highest point to the left of this parabola will be two units on the ground. In other words, the distance from the water fountain to the left endpoint of the parabola will be one unit. We can now set up a coordinate system. Suppose the lower left point is 0, 0. Then the highest point will be 2, 3, and the point on the right will be 4, 0. We want to solve for the top of the water fountain. This point will be 1, z, and we want to solve for the value of z. How do we do that? Let's describe an equation for a parabola that goes through the three points 0, 0, 2, 3, and 4, 0. So let's focus on these points. In this particular example, we can use the vertex equation for a parabola. We know that the vertex of this parabola is equal to 2, 3. We can now disregard the point 4, 0, and let's substitute in the point 0, 0. From here, we get that 0 is equal to a multiplied by negative 2 squared plus 3. And from here, we can solve for a. a will be equal to negative 3 over 4, which is equal to negative 0 0.75. We can substitute into the original equation. So we have y is equal to negative 0.75 multiplied by x minus 2 the quantity squared plus 3. From here, we want to solve for the value of z that corresponds to x is equal to 1. We substitute x is equal to 1, and then we simplify. We thus get that z is equal to 2.25 units, and that's the height of the water fountain. So that's the quick way to solve the problem. But in some problems, you cannot use the vertex equation. So what do you do there? If you don't know the vertex of the parabola, you have to go to the general equation of a parabola. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We then have a system of three equations from these three points. So we first substitute in 0, 0. This will allow us to solve that c is equal to 0. Using c is equal to 0, we'll substitute in the point 2, 3. We can then simplify this equation. 3 is equal to 4a plus 2b. We then substitute in the point 4, 0. We simplify this equation. We have 0 is equal to 16a plus 4b. We now want to solve for a and b. So let's divide both sides of this equation by 2. We have 0 is equal to 8a plus 2b. From the last two equations, we subtract the second equation from the first equation. This eliminates the b variable. 3 is equal to negative 4a which means a is equal to negative 0.75. We then take this and substitute into this equation. So we get that 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 2b. We simplify this equation and then solve for b. b is equal to 3. So we've now solved for a, b, and c. We can substitute into our equation for the parabola. And then we want to solve for z. So we substitute that x is equal to 1, 
and then we simplify. We again get that z is equal to 2.25, and that's the answer. What an interesting problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.